Your Honor, if the court would allow me to depose Dr. Kane. Depose me? Oh, we think your past is very relevant, Dr. Kane. These issues speak directly to his competence as a scientist. Dr. Kane, you were a top-level researcher at USAMRID from 94 to 97, were you not? Yes, that's correct. And you were summarily dismissed in the summer of 1997. Any idea why? My services were no longer required. Uh-huh. So, in your opinion, your firing had nothing to do with an experimental anthrax vaccine that you developed and administered to nearly 140,000 U.S. soldiers in May of that year. I see where you're going with this. It may have been a factor. You'd have to ask the Joint Chiefs of Staff. I'll make a note to do that. But for now, can you tell me what happened to the soldiers that were inoculated with your vaccine? Well, uh, none of them got anthrax, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> What did they get? Um, well, as with any new vaccine, there were certain side effects associated with it. Could you be more specific? Well, it was a wide range of things. It's very technical. I'd hate to waste the court's time getting into it right now. Humor me. Some uh, debilitating stomach cramps, severe diarrhea, memory loss. Yes. Go on. Any more symptoms? Partial facial paralysis, temporary blindness, drooling, bleeding gums, erectile dysfunction, uncontrollable flatulence. I think that's it. One more question. Do you happen to remember what the soldiers called this illness, Dr. Kane? Yeah, they called it the Kane Madness. 